This is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom video I'm going to show you how to enhance golden hour photos right here in Lightroom. Make them really stand out with lots of color and brightness. As you can see in this photo we are going to take this very dull raw image and make it really shine. So just with a few steps we're going to do this. Um, with some hand edits and presets. So let's get started. So just to start off, um, when I import my photos, I always sharpen, so those are good to go. I'm gonna come down to my preset panel and just choose my Life in Color collection. Now you can choose to edit your photo any way that you like. Um, just to make my photos pop a little bit more with color and brightness, I love to use my life in color collection. So I'm gonna choose over the top and this is just gonna give me a foundation for my final look. And I'm also, as I applied that preset, I can see that the white balance is really, really off and I want to go ahead and fix that. So over here where my temperature slider is, I'm just gonna manually move this over until I like the looks of it. Now I want this to look nice and warm with this golden glow. So I'm gonna keep it right around here for now. I think that looks really great than before. So just by the preset and uh, the temperature change, we're off to a really, really great start. So the next thing I'm going to do to enhance this photo a little bit more is come over here to my adjustment brush and I'm going to, first of all, I'm gonna choose a dodge brush. It's already chosen for me. Now this is already pre-installed in your Lightroom. You don't have to have a special brush to use. So I'm just gonna go over them because they are the main subjects of my photo. Just to brighten their skin a little bit and make them stand out a little bit more. So when I'm done, I'm gonna click new because I want to add a new brush. And if I don't click new, and I change the settings, and this brush setting is going to um, kind of get written over, so to speak. So I really want to make this sunset stand out more, add more color to it, and make it really, really bold and rich. So I'm going to create a new brush, and I'm going to show you how to create a brush as well, just for sunsets. So I'm going to come down here to the color picker, and you can pick whatever color you want. I usually try to aim for a nice orangey color. You don't want it too bold because it will be really bold. Uh, but something around here will look really nice. And we can always adjust this later on so it's not set in stone. I'm going to close this and I'm also going to decrease my exposure on this one just to add a little bit more color so it doesn't uh, get overexposed. So when I'm done choosing my settings, I'm just going to go over the, um, the golden glow, the, <laughs> the sunset, so to speak. So I really like the way that's looking. I'm not really sure I want to put all that on the grass, so I can come down here, click my erase. There we go. And I can erase part of that off the grass if I want to. Um, it's just really a personal preference. Then when you want to go back to the brush, you can click brush A and kind of blend that in again. And I kind of want to just go over the trees in the background too. And once you, when I do that, you can see that this brush setting is being applied to their faces, which I don't want. So I'm going to click my erase brush again and I'm going to make it a little smaller. Now you can change the size down here where it says size or you can use the scroller on your mouse. My mouse is being a little finicky right now. So I'm just going to go over their skin just to make sure I get all that orangish color off of them. And that looks good for now. Now if I want to apply a little bit more of that golden glow, I can click new and just go over it one more time. And that just adds a nice little bit of orange to your photo. Makes the sunset really stand out. 
Now, if you want to go ahead and save this as a new brush, just come back to your, um, your panel and you gotta scroll all the way down. I've got a lot of brushes, so this will take a second. And you click Save Current Setting as New Preset. So I'm just gonna title this Two Blooms Sunset Brush. And I am going to include this um, for you to download if you'd like to download this. So I'm gonna just label it Sunset Brush Freebie. So if you scroll down to the bottom of this video, you can click the link and download yours. If you're using Lightroom CC, you won't be able to install this brush file into your Lightroom just because Adobe doesn't um, support light, uh, it doesn't support being able to do that with Lightroom CC, but you can use all the settings that I just showed you here to create your own, and that way you can create your own and save it just the same. So one thing I'm gonna do by finishing this off is I'm gonna click Done, and I'm also gonna come over here and choose a graduated filter and I don't want this sunset brush setting. I'm gonna just click burn. I just want part of this image to be a little bit darker, but I don't want all of the edges to be darker like a true vignette. So I'm just going to click my little cross here and I'm gonna pull about, about to here. This just adds a little bit of um, burning in the edge. I might even adjust it a little bit and then tweak it this way, just so it's even more feathered. This just gives it some more depth and really um, leaves the focus on the three boys in the middle. So when I'm clicking done, I am done with that. And as you can see, the before and after, just with some simple tweaks, presets, and your own custom vignette and brushes. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Make sure you click the links at the bottom to download your free brush. And also make sure to check out my website at twoblooms.com for all of your Lightroom preset needs and to check out more of the Life in Color collection that was demoed here in this video. So thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you next time.